Welcome to Edupedia World. In this video, we will discuss mean deviation and coefficient of mean deviation. Calculation of mean deviation and its coefficient in discrete series. The following steps are followed to calculate mean deviation in discrete series. First step, we have to calculate average, mean or median from which mean deviation is to be calculated. Second step, we have to find out absolute deviation D that is ignoring plus or minus sign of deviation. Third step, absolute or positive deviation D of each observation is multiplied with the corresponding frequency F of the variable Fx D. Next step, we have to find out sum total of the product that is sigma f d and the last step mean deviation is calculated by dividing the sum total by the number of items symbolically it is written mean deviation from mean md mean is equals to sigma f d where d is equals to x minus mean divided by sigma f or n next mean deviation from median mdm is equals to sigma f d divided by sigma f coefficient of mean deviation is calculated by dividing mean deviation by the concerned average symbolically it is written cmd that is coefficient of mean deviation is equals to md mean divided by mean and also CMD is equals to MDM divided by M, where M is means median. We will understand this discrete series with the help of an illustration in the coming slide. Calculation of mean deviation and its coefficient in discrete series. Let us understand this with the help of a following illustration. We have to calculate mean deviation and its coefficient using arithmetic mean marks and number of students are given to us so let's start with the solution we will make a table of five column in the first column we will write marks which is denoted by letter x in the second column we will write number of students which is denoted by letter f frequencies which is already given in the question that is 8 12 20 10 6 and 4 so sigma f is equals to 60 in the third column, we will write fx, which is a product of frequency and variable. 20 into 8 comes 160. 30 into 12 comes 360. 40 into 20 comes 800. 50 into 10 comes 500. 60 into 6 comes 360. And 70 into 4 comes 280. So, sigma f is equals to 2460. Now with these two data we will calculate mean that is sigma fx divided by sigma f. 2460 divided by 60 we will get 41 as mean. Now in the fourth column we will write d equals to x minus mean. Mean we got 41. So 20 minus 41 we will get minus 21. So we have to ignore the plus and minus sign so we will write only 21. This we will calculate uh, 30 minus 41 comes 11, 40 minus 41 comes 1, 50 minus 41 comes 9, 60 minus 41 comes 19 and 70 minus 41 comes 29. In the last column we will write FD that is the product of frequency and D. So 8 into 21 comes 168. 12 into 11 comes 132, 20 into 1 comes 20, 10 into 9 comes 90, 6 into 19 comes 114 and 4 into 29 comes 116. So we will get sigma fd is equals to 640. Now we will calculate mean deviation from mean that is mdx is equals to sigma fd divided by sigma f. Sigma fd is equals to 640 and sigma f is 60. So 640 divided by 60 we will get 
10.67 as mean deviation from mean. Now we come to coefficient of mean deviation that is CMD mean is equals to MD mean divided by mean. Mean deviation from mean we have already calculated that is 10.67 divided by mean that is 41 which comes 0 0.26 as a coefficient of mean deviation. This is how we will calculate mean deviation and its coefficient in discrete series. Calculation of mean deviation and its coefficient in discrete series using median. Let us understand this with the help of a following illustration. We have to calculate mean deviation and its coefficient using median from the data which is given to us of marks and number of students. So for the solution, we will make the table of 5 columns. In the first column, we will write marks which is denoted by letter X. In the second column, we will write number of students which is denoted by letter F. Both the things are given in the question. In the third column, we will write cumulative frequency in which we will add up the frequency that is 2 then 2 plus 3 will get 5 after that 5 plus 4 we will get 9 then 9 plus 5 we will get 14 and 14 plus 6 will get 20 so sigma f is equals to 20 now we will calculate median that is median is equals to size of n plus 1 by 2 item here n is 20 so 20 plus 1 by 2 we will get 10.5 so 10.5 is coming under cumulative frequency 14 so median is 20 now for the fourth column which is d is equal to x minus m d is deviation x is marks and m is median so 5 minus 20 we will get 15 10 minus 20 we will get 10 15 minus 20 we will get 5 20 minus 20 we will get 0 and 25 minus 20 we will get 5 now for the last column that is FD frequency and deviation we will multiply the deviation with the frequency so 15 into 2 will get 30 10 into 3 30 5 into 4 20 0 into 5 is 0 and 5 into 6 will get 30 so sigma FD is equals to 110 now we'll calculate mean deviation from medium is equals to sigma f d divided by sigma f which is 110 by 20 we'll get 5.5 next coefficient of mean deviation that is cmdm is equals to mdm which we have calculated earlier that is 5.5 divided by m which is 20 we will get 0 0.27 as coefficient of mean deviation this is how we'll calculate mean deviation and its coefficient in discrete series using median. Now we come to calculation of mean deviation and its coefficient in continuous series. The steps to find out mean deviation will remain same as discussed earlier in discrete series with the following changes. In continuous series, x is given in the form of class intervals. Therefore, midpoints which is denoted by letter M of class interval are calculated to solve the numericals. Symbolically it is written mean deviation from mean MD mean is equals to sigma FD divided by sigma F. Here D is equals to M which is midpoint minus mean. Next mean deviation from median MDM is equals to sigma FD divided by sigma F. Here D is equals to M minus M where first M that is small m is equals to midpoint and M that is capital M is equals to median. Coefficient of mean deviation is calculated by dividing mean deviation by the average. Symbolically it is written CMD coefficient of mean deviation equals to MD mean divided by mean. And also CMD is equals to MDM divided by M where M stands for median. Let us understand this with the help of illustration in the coming slide. Calculation of mean deviation and its coefficient in continuous series. 
Let us understand this with the help of a following illustration. We have to calculate mean deviation and its coefficient for the following data using arithmetic mean. In the data marks and number of students are given to us, marks are written in class intervals. So with the solution, we will make the table of six columns. In the first column, we will write marks, which is denoted by letter X, which are 0 to 10, 10 to 20, 20 to 30, and so on. In the second column, we will write number of students, which is denoted by letter F, which are frequencies 4, 8, 10, 6, 2, which make sigma F equals to 30. In the third column, we will write midpoints, which is denoted by small m, midpoints of class interval, that is, 5 is a midpoint of 0 to 10, 15 is a midpoint of 10 to 20, and so on. In the fourth column, we will write FM, which is a product of frequency and midpoint. That is 20, 120, 250, 210, and 90, which gave sigma FM equals to 690. So we got sigma FM and sigma F. Now we'll calculate mean from it. Mean is equal to sigma FM divided by sigma F. 690 divided by 30, we will got 23 as mean. Now in the fifth column, that is D is equal to M minus mean, where M is midpoint and X with a bar above it is a mean. So, 5 minus 23, we will get minus 18. So, we will ignore plus and minus sign. So, we'll write only 18. 15 minus 23, we will get 8. 25 minus 23, we will get 2. 35 minus 23, we will get 12. And 45 minus 23, we will get 22. And in the last column, we'll write FD. Product of frequency and D. So, 4 into 18, we will get 72. 8 into 8, we will get 64. 10 into 2, we will get 20. 6 into 12, we will get 72. And 2 into 22, we will get 44. Which will make sigma FD equals to 272. Now, we will calculate mean deviation from mean. Which is MD mean equals to sigma FD divided by sigma F. Sigma FD is 272 divided by sigma F, which is 30, we will get 9.07. Next, we come to coefficient of mean deviation, which is CMD mean equals to MD mean divided by mean. MD mean we have calculated earlier, that is 9.07 divided by 23, we will get 0.39 as coefficient of mean deviation. This is how we'll calculate mean deviation and its coefficient in continuous series. Calculation of mean deviation and its coefficient in continuous series using median. Let us understand this with the help of a following illustration. In the illustration, the following data is given to us that is marks and number of students. So for the solution, we will make the table of six column. In the first column, we will write marks which is denoted by letter X which is already given in the question. In the second column, we will write number of students denoted by letter F. It is also given in the question. In the third column, we will write CF, that is cumulative frequency. We will add up the frequency, that is 4. Then 4 plus 7 comes 11. 11 plus 8 comes 19. 19 plus 5 comes 24. And 24 plus 6 comes 30. Now we will calculate median, that is size of n by 2 item n is 30 so 30 by 2 comes size of 15th item as you can see in the table that 15th item is lying in cumulative frequency 19 so class interval will be 10 to 15 now we'll apply the formula that is m is equals to l1 plus n by 2 minus cf whole divided by f into i where l1 is lower limit of class interval then uh, CF is cumulative frequency and F is frequency and I is class interval. We will put up the values and we will get 12.5 as median. Now come to the fourth column that is midpoints. So midpoint of class interval that is 0 to 5 is 2.5, 5 to 10 is 7.5, 10 to 
10 to 15 is 12.5, 15 to 20 is 17.5 and 20 to 25 is 22.5. Now come to the fifth column that is deviation equals to small m minus capital M. Small m is midpoint and capital M is median. So 2.5 minus 12.5 we will get 10. 7.5 minus 12.5 will get 5. 12.5 minus 12.5 is 0. 17.5 minus 12.5 is 5. 22.5 minus 12.5 is 15. We have to ignore negative signs. And in the last column we'll write frequency deviation. Means we'll multiply frequency and deviation. So 4 into 10 comes 40. 7 into 5 comes 35. 8 into 0 comes 0, 5 into 5 is 25 and 6 into 15 is 60. After adding up we will get sigma fd is equals to 160. Now we will calculate mean deviation from median which is mdm is equals to sigma fd by sigma f. Sigma fd is 160 and sigma f is 30. So 160 divided by 30 we will get 5.33. Now come to coefficient of mean deviation that is CMDM is equals to MDM which we have calculated earlier that is 5.33 divided by M which is 12.5 comes 0 0.43. This is how we will calculate mean deviation and its coefficient in continuous series using median. Next we come to merits and demerits of mean deviation. First, we will discuss merits of mean deviation. It is simple to calculate as it is based on averages that is mean and median. Second merit, it is based on all the observation of the series. Mean deviation is a more comprehensive measure of dispersion compared to range and quartile deviation as it is based upon all items of the series. Next merit is it is not too much affected by extreme values as compared to standard deviation. And the last merit is it can be calculated by using an average that is mean or median or more. These are some of the merits of mean deviation. Next we come to demerits of mean deviation. First is, it is not rigidly defined as the deviation can be taken from any measure of central tendency accordingly. Mean deviation calculated from different averages will be different. Next demerit is, it cannot be used for algebraic treatment because it ignores plus and minus signs of deviation. Next point. If average is in fraction, then it becomes a complex procedure to find deviations. And the last demerit is, as compared to standard deviation, it has less sampling stability. These are some of the demerits of mean deviations. Thank you for watching Edupedia World videos.